Coming up, this guy really knows how to get out of a jam. Chemeki and Atisha get an exclusive look into one of Brother Rice's brightest minds, Liam Benton. Hendy and Eli get sentimental finding students' favorite love songs. There's nothing weird about it. Brother Rice is full of bromances. Bannum and Neville's expose some of Brother Rice's most iconic bromances. They're big studs on the field, but they haven't always been that way. Cato Johnson and Peter Smark test the instincts and intellect of Brother Rice students with Guess That Sports Stud. Marisha and Sema go to the student body for the best pickup lines to use this Valentine's Day season. Collins demonstrates the importance of wearing a mask during the rise in COVID cases in his edition in A Day of the Life. All of this and more in a new episode of The Chieftain Live. But first, I'll need my news team. News team, assemble! News team, assemble! Good afternoon, Brother Rice. My name is Brayden Willis. And I'm Luke Nelson. And welcome back to another episode of The Chieftain Live. With a new wave of reporters on staff this semester, we've got some good stories lined up for you today, so let's not waste any more time. February is the month of love. There is no better way to get into the Valentine's mood than through good old-fashioned love songs. Henny and Eli get emotional with Brother Eye students getting the best love songs. With Valentine's Day just right around the corner, you might want to warm up your romantic dance moves and get jamming to a love song, or maybe even sing or dance to a love song with your date and have a splendid time on the dance floor. Probably gotta be Too Legendary by Rio de Young OG for sure, yep. Uh, there's a lot of good love songs that come to mind. My favorite probably has to be Paranoid by Rio de Young OG and RMC Mike. Um, my favorite love song is probably Legendary by Rio de Young OG. <laughs> this is the remix to Ignition, hot and fresh out the kitchen. Mama rolling that body, got every E.T. by Katy Perry. Lotus flower bomb. When I'm low. <laughs> Lotus flower bomb. Time is coming soon. It's only just right around the corner. And I hope we have prepared you guys well to secure a great time with your dates and have an amazing Valentine's Day. There are some bright minds all over Brother Rice, but one student stands out of the crowd for one particular reason. He's something of a renaissance man. Atisha and Chemeki get a closer look into the mind of Brother Rice icon Liam Benton. Many of you know Liam Benton is the very smart and talented drum player. Miss Bosler knew Liam was a special drum talent when first meeting him. Pretty much the first day we had him in jazz band, he's been playing uh, for a while and he just kills at every every rehearsal, every performance. Um, he's a great drummer. Liam discovered his love for drums in his childhood ages and decided to pursue it. I was in about third grade and a couple of my friends and I decided that we we're all going to learn how to play the drums and the rest was history. The school was shocked and amazed when Liam showed off his drum solo at the end of Mass. However, Miss Bowser already knew of his talent. He's done some drum solos in class that have melted our faces, but it really, um, it just gets you real hype when he does that solo at church. And the first one he did, I think I was beaming from ear to ear, and uh, I think I clapped very hard afterwards. Liam definitely gained a lot of attention after his drum solo in church. He must have felt great to praise God and get applauses from the school. Uh, it's pretty awesome, because on one hand, you know, you to bring that all for the glory of God, but you know, Gotta be a little selfish and enjoy it. The school is thankful to have such a wonderful student who brings us all extra joy at Mass.
Brother Rice has a brotherhood as strong as steel, and an environment such as that is the perfect place for plenty of bromances to flourish. Nevilles and Bannum are here to bring out some of those bromances out into the spotlight. With Valentine's Day coming up, love is roaming in Brother Rice. Me and Mark will be going around the halls trying to find some of the special romances and how they feel about each other. First, one of the most known bromances are Matthew Hendy and Dantes Fuller, one that's known to last forever. Many wonder how long have they been in their relationship and how did they meet? We first met when I saw this cute smile on the football field freshman year. Next, we have the two lovebirds, Jake Yusuf and Skylar Kashad. They have a really strong bond. Their favorite thing to do together is very heartwarming. This song resembles you guys' relationship. Um, we started off as close friends by Lil Baby. Mr. Riker and Mr. Galley also has a unique romance going on that most people didn't know. How long have you known Mr. Riker for? Uh, I've known him since 2007. He was my bio teacher, which I got a C in and he was my baseball coach as well. You know, for me, he's just a, he's a guy that loves Rice, a uh, big role model for me, why I got into teaching and coaching. And, uh, you know, much to what people would say, he's, he's a good guy to be around. Uh, I love working with him and uh, love, love coaching baseball with him as well. Lastly, we have the big guys that help keeps the school going, Dean Williamson and Mr. Theaker. Their relationship has been healthy for quite some time. Okay, and everyone knows Mr. Th you and Mr. Thinker has a good relationship. When did you guys meet? So I had the f absolute fortune of meeting Mr. Thinker when he was in high school. And I was a football coach and a strength coach for them at that time. So this was about 2010, 11, and uh, was able to be a mentor to him at that time and uh, never knew we would be at this point, but uh, it, it's been a long time. What is keeping you guys' friendship going? So at one point, uh, Nate and I developed a really good relationship and I became his trainer for uh, forever there. While we may have covered several bromances here at Brother Rice, there are bound to be many more now and in the future of our school's culture. Brother Rice is full of outstanding sports studs. The athletes here have all individually given years of dedication to their sports. Cato Johnson and Peter Smark play a guessing game with Brother Eye students using baby photos of some of the best athletes at our school. Many students at Brother Eye play sports and have been playing since they were kids. As much as athletes have improved over the years, their biggest changes are physical. Let's see if the Brother Eye students can point out athletes based on young photos of them. This current athlete at Brother Eye is ranked as a four-star athlete and is very passionate about his craft. Oh, that's got to be Kurt. Is that Curtis? That's for sure, Kurt. Oh, is that Kurt? Curtis Williams. Five for five. This person is a dual sport athlete and was good at both of the two sport he involves himself in. That's Ethan Swider. Ethan Swider. That looks like Ethan Swider for sure. Swider. That's correct. Okay. This athlete has a relative that is involved in the sport as well as being a captain for his sport. Matthew Koleski. Anthony Tobia. What? I don't know this one to be honest. Matthew Koleski. Matthew Koleski. Correct. This athlete isn't very big, but has a lot of heart for his size, which is why coaches like him. Charlie D'Angelo, Chuck? That looks like Chuck D'Angelo. Charlie D'Angelo. Chuck D'Angelo? That's correct again. While there are many recognizable athletes at Brother Rice, some may not know how much one can change over the years. For many students here at Brother Rice, it can be difficult to speak to girls, especially when you need to ask someone out on a date for Valentine's Day. If you're at a last resort and have nothing else to lose, Barisha and Sema have gathered together the student body's greatest pickup lines for you to use this Valentine's Day. With Valentine's Day around the corner, it can be difficult thinking about what to say to your potential date. Pickup lines are a cheesy but reliable way to get the woman you want. Throughout the Brother Rice Halls, many students, teachers, and staff have their go-to pickup lines to make sure the ladies will fall for you. My go-to pickup line would probably be, I hope you know CPR because you just took my breath away. Uh, if I was a cat, I would spend all my nine lives with you. Um, probably, do you play soccer? Because you're a keeper. So if you see a girl wearing a nice pair of scrubs, you know, she work in the medical field, you ask her, does she know CPR? Because she just took your breath away. For some of these students, it's too easy to pick up girls. So to make it more challenging, they implement states and countries into their line. I'm gonna go with, 
Uh, are you from Tennessee because you're the only 10 I see? <laughs> are you French because I fell for you? People resort to a pickup line when asking girls out, but some people are too smooth that they don't even need one. You're so beautiful, I forgot my pickup line. With all the great lines that could work, some lines are bound to fail. Do you have a name or can I call you mine? Uh, did it hurt when you fell from the vending machine? Because you're, you're a snack. Are you a parking ticket because you've got fine written all over you? After listening to all of these quality pickup lines, securing the date you want should be no problem. COVID cases are as high as ever in the United States. As students, we need to make an active effort to try to prevent the further spread in our school. Collins gives a demonstration of a day in the life of wearing a KN95 mask at Brother Ice. If you purchase a mask at Brother Ice, the only masks they will give you are the K95 masks. If you test positive for COVID, after you come back from being quarantined, you have to wear a KN95 mask for a week. Many students are not a big fan of masks, and this mask is the least popular one among students. The mask is, uh, the past three days I had to wear it super tight all around, especially around the ears, like after you wear it for a, a whole school day, it makes the ears. Kind of painful. It's extremely uncomfortable to wear, especially when talking, you know, all day and trying to project my voice while teaching. So it's definitely not comfortable. Um, that's pretty much it. I mean, nobody likes wearing a mask and this is even more uncomfortable than any other mask. I decided to wear the mask to see what a day in life of wearing a K95 mask is like and see if they are as bad as people say. Wearing this mask for a day, I found is that it will protect you from COVID a lot better than wearing a standard medical mask. It has a lot of protective materials that will make sure that you are safe from getting COVID or any other viruses. The con of this mask is that it is really uncomfortable to wear. The KN95 mask kind of feels like you're wearing three masks on at the same time. It has really thick materials and I feel like I can't breathe when I wear it. I personally hate this mask and I would much rather wear a standard medical mask than the KN95. Overall, I would not recommend anybody wearing this mask. I prefer the medical mask a lot more and I think that they are a lot more easy to breathe in. If you want to be safer from COVID, you can wear the KN95. I'm Liam Collins reporting with Chieftain Live. Well, that's all we have for you today, Brother Rice. Make sure that you tune in next time for more entertaining content just like this in the near future. And don't forget to follow us on Twitter, at Chieftain Live, for exclusive, never-before-seen Chieftain Live content. My name is Braden Willis. And I'm Luke Nelson. Mm -hmm.